Uh, dear viewers, I have started a series of uh, lectures in the subject theory of computation. This subject is being taught uh, in most of the technological universities as one of the course in uh, computer science engineering. I am not uh, covering the topics as per the syllabus, uh, then and there I am putting the topics uh, in, the, in my channel. I request the viewers if any topic of your interest I am ready to do and uh, publish the video also. Today, in this video, we discuss about mathematical model of uh, pushdown automata and this is a block diagram of pushdown automata. It has uh, three components, finite control, input tape and the stack. Finite control is a house of the logic or it contains a program. Based on the logic and the program, this entire machine works. This input tape is an infinite memory it is divided into many cell each cell is able to hold only one symbol at a time apart from the input tape there is a stack the stack is as of now empty <clears throat> the emptiness of the stack is always indicated by one and only symbol the presence of one and only symbol which is z0 so this is a block diagram of pushdown automata here the input string is stored then there might be a question what is the purpose of this stack this pda while reading the input symbol it might want to remember the symbols whatever it reads so to remember whatever it reads the stack is being used so this is a block diagram of the pda pda recognizes a type of formal language called context free language this is otherwise known as type 2 language also now let us see the mathematical model of pushdown automata PDA let us call it by the letter M it is defined as six tuple information K Sigma stack symbol Delta S A K is a set of states Sigma is a set of input symbol this notation is nothing but the set of stack symbol del is a transition function the transition function I have defined it here S yes is the start state, A is a set of accepting states. Now let us see the transition function also. From the given state on reading the input symbol and it checks what is available at the top of this stack. Now I just create the scenario whatever the transition function is being given here. Let us try to understand from this black diagram. This finite control reads one symbol from the input tape. Simultaneously, it checks whatever is available at the top of the stack. That is what is given here by the first three components from the given state on reading the input symbol. And it checks simultaneously what is available at the top of the stack. It may change its state by pushing or popping the symbols onto the stack. I have given some examples also. From these examples also we try to understand. This is the current state of the PDA. For example, we take the PDA is in the state Q0. Let us assume that it reads the symbol A. So I will explain with this block diagram now. Current state of PDA is Q0. It reads the symbol A and the top of the stack is A. It is being given by this scenario on the left hand side. On the right hand side what is happening? The state of PDA is changed to Q1 and above this A, a B is pushed on to the stack. So, uh, sorry, I have to write B here. Already the top of the stack is A. Above that A, B is pushed on to the stack. That is what this transition example says. From the state Q0 on reading A, when the top of the stack is A, the state is changed to Q1 by pushing B onto the top of the stack. Let us see the other example also. For example, let us consider the current state of PDA is Q1. From Q1, imagine that it reads B from the input tape. At the same time, top of the stack contains A. Now, the state of the PDA is changed to Q2 by popping whatever is available at the top of the stack. This epsilon indicates to perform pop operation on the stack.
to perform pop operation on this track. So whatever is available at the top of this track is removed. So this is the mathematical model of push down automata. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.